Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Leave Your Lover by Sam Smith. And it starts out with this cool little lick around an E major chord. You play E major. Normally you do this first finger on the G string, first fret, second finger on the A, second fret, third finger on the D string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds an E major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now, another way you can kind of work your E major, though, through the tune, actually, this kind of relates to, to the riff that we'll talk about. Um, you could kind of take your first finger to cover the, the A string and the D strings um, on the second fret. Second finger, and I know this is a stretch, and we're not going to need all of it, but second finger on the G string, fourth, third finger on the high E fourth, pinky on the B string, fifth. It's kind of a D shape for your E major chord. And what's kind of happening here is a little arpeggio or broken chord around kind of that shape. But all you really need is kind of that, that bar over the A and the D and then the fourth fret on the high E string as kind of the little lick that kind of starts off the tune. And you could work this as just a strumming thing around the E. We'll talk about some strumming options. But if you kind of dig on, on the arpeggio idea, you might want to try this finger style. And you could start with the thumb on the low E string for kind of your bass note for the E chord, and then another finger on the high E of, on the, for the fourth fret note. It kind of starts with those two together, kind of thumb and, and a finger. And I know for myself, you may, it may feel pretty good to kind of work a ring finger for that, kind of thumb and ring together. And then there's this cool little part that comes in from the A to the D and then back to the A string. And you may want to use that as kind of thumb, index, thumb, or you could even do index, middle, index, if that feels better for you. Kind of working that arpeggio. So you got the low E and the, and the fourth on the high E, and then two on the A, two on the D, two on the A, and then we do that again. But then we do the open and four together, and then do just the A and the D string. It's almost kind of like a four idea, four idea, and then a three idea. It's kind of the way it kind of works. It's kind of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Kind of around that E major. So kind of that open four, two, 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 open four, two, 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 open four, two, two, open four. almost works almost like a three plus three plus two idea. So if you took the E major just to go over some strumming options here too, you could kind of work it as kind of a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And I'm doing kind of kind of a right hand muting idea. It's eight downs, but you're kind of feeling it as one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Might be a cool way to kind of work it too if you just want to strum it. Or one of my favorite strum patterns for a four four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. And you could work that on the E too, kind of down, down. heavy actually for, um, for yourself if you're really feeling it. Um, you could work something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the B, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. Kind of a one, two, one, two, one, two. What a 16th note is is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And what I think really kind of matches the rhythm of the tune is kind of a down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, 16th note strum pattern. What I mean by that is if you take the E and do a down on one and an up on four, you'd be going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, up, 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 down
D on the fourth and the pinky on the B string fourth. And you may want to do that, especially if you're kind of leaning towards the finger shot, kind of a thumb index ring is feeling really good for me on, on that idea, just to kind of bring out those notes for the B major chord. Kind of working that as an all together idea, kind of fingers together, kind of an idea. And then from the B, and actually another way to play the B, and actually we'll talk about more, or use this more for the pre-chorus, would be doing a seventh fret bar, second finger on the G on the eighth fret, third finger on the A9, pinky on the D string nine. So you want to kind of keep that in the back of your mind, so you can kind of be major there. Or, you, especially if you're just strumming this, you may want to think about using a B7 chord, where you could do first finger on the D, first fret, second finger on the A, second fret, third finger on the G, second, pinky on the high second. Kind of working that for the B, kind of the B7 in root position. And then from the B, we go to an A major chord. And normally you do this in root position, first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B second, kind of working the A major. Part for the finger styles, just working just that A, D, and B string of that kind of for your A major. And you will hear this cool little hit actually if you take the A major, lift off the third finger, it sounds an A suspended second. And you hear this cool little hammer on, like actually kind of in with the third finger on the A, kind of coming out of that B, B, A. Kind of working a hammer on into that chord later on. Or especially for the pre chorus, you may want to work this as a bar chord by doing fifth fret bar. Second finger on the G, sixth, third finger on the A7, pinky on the D7. Kind of working your A major that way. And then from the A major, we're going to an F sharp minor. I normally do this as a second fret bar. Third finger on the A, fourth, pinky on the D fourth. If you strum all those together, that's an F sharp minor. Although because of where the A is kind of happening, actually just that, that finger style idea, kind of the open A, second on the D, second on the B string idea, you may just want to take your first finger and go to the low E second fret and kind of work that as your bass note, and that changes the A into kind of an F sharp minor seven. So you'd have kind of your A idea, and then A, and then change it to F sharp minor, it just becomes a one finger idea. And then we kind of end up with our F sharp minor again, and then we do this cool little hammer on lick where you do second on the low E, first finger on the G string first fret, kind of do just those notes together, kind of just low E second, G string first at the same time, and kind of do a little hammer on with the third finger into the G string second fret, and then open B, and then we can kind of end back on our E major with the open E, second on the D, and then first fret on the G, kind of thumb index middle is how I'm kind of fingering that. So all together, if you kind of dig in on just the licks, actually, you'd have the E major idea. idea kind of fingers together together and then a kind of that together and then together for an open and then do the hammer on back into the second and then another a or you can even break that up different ways and then go into f sharp minor I'm kind of throwing in some some extra notes there too and then we do our hammer on leg and then back to the e and then there's kind of this open e at the top after that now you could kind of break that up through it too if you wanted to fill in time. Kind of an E major. sharp minor e. so you kind of find some ways that work for you with the fingers or if, you, if you're digging on on kind of working this as a strumming idea with the down down up up down up a lot of our chords kind of half and on the halving idea you may want to do the down down up on each chord to kind of half it kind of you know is the first idea or you may want to do a down on, down on the first chord and then switch to the second chord for an up up down up kind of match the rhythm method so you have an E Idea, you can make that halfing on the down, up, up, and 
going to go to the second chord for the down, up, up, down. So if you're taking more of the 16th feel, you'd have the E. To our pre chorus part. And our pre chorus starts on the F sharp minor, but then we go to a G sharp minor, which you could kind of take that shape and just slide it over two frets. Again, you have fourth fret bar, third finger on the A, sixth pinky on the D6, and the G sharp minor on the D. Or if you're just starting out actually with, with, with the bars, you could even work this as a power chord idea. Um, so you'd have kind of that F sharp five power chord where you got first finger on the low E, second, third finger on the, on the A, fourth, third finger. G sharp five. I work in that as kind of that build up. So if you want smaller chords and kind of avoid the, the bars that way, you can kind of work it as a power chord idea. But um, the what it really kind of sounds like is, is you'd almost be working this as kind of like a little right hand arpeggio. And it almost sounds like you'd be doing all the strings together. And I'm kind of setting this up thumb on the low E, index on the D, middle on the G string, ring finger on the B string. It's kind of an all together idea. And then going index thumb, and then all together, index thumb, and then all together, and then another thumb. So it's still kind of your three idea, three idea, two idea. But there's lots of other ways that you could arpeggiate through that too, especially if you're feeling the rhythm. You may want to kind of experiment with other arpeggios for the right hand, other ways to break it up, you're doing different numbers of strings. bar for the B. So you could kind of work that with the fingers. F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, B. Or you can strum through that and you can work it with the down idea. Kind of our eight down on each one. Or the down, down, up, up, down, up. First chorus, we start out on the E major, and then we go to F sharp minor, and then we have an A to a G sharp minor, and then we have an F sharp minor to an E. And with the downs, I actually may want to play around with that. I was just kind of doing a one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, kind of a three plus five idea through that for the halving idea, which can be very cool. And then we almost start that over again E major, F sharp minor. Sharp minor chord. Normally you do this as a fourth fret bar, second finger on the B fifth, third finger on the D sixth, pinky on the G sixth. You strum all those together, that sounds a C sharp minor chord. Now you may also dig on kind of lifting off the pinky, making that a C sharp minor seven. Or if you're doing the fingers, you just change the bass to the A string and kind of work that thumb index ring idea between the A, D, and B string, which would be very cool. And then instead of an F sharp minor, now we go to an F sharp seven or an F sharp major chord where you could do second fret bar, second finger on the G third fret, third finger on the A fourth, pinky on the D fourth. You strum all those together, that sounds an F sharp major chord. Or you may dig on kind of lifting off the pinky, making that an F sharp seven. Or you could even add in the pinky on the B string four, uh, fifth fret, kind of make that an F sharp seven. And then from the F sharp, we go to A major, and then an E, and we go back to our C sharp minor, F sharp, and then an A is kind of, kind of our resting at the very end of the, the first chorus. So you could work that with the fingers and working the arpeggio ideas, kind of that E major, and then the F sharp minor. But then on the A, you may want to do kind of a together thumb bass, and then G sharp minor for the rest of the pattern. And then the F sharp minor with kind of the together index thumb, and then go back to the E for the rest of the pattern. So that can be a little weird how you're half in that kind of E. Or you 
could work the down, down, up, up, down, up, and then you have the F sharp minor, A, G sharp minor, F sharp minor. Or you could work the 16th idea. there we go into kind of an instrumental break which you could bring back a lot of the, the intro ideas actually from our first verse so you may want to go back to those patterns kind of that E Something else that I like to add to uh, my strumming a lot of times is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, of the down, down, up, up, down, you can run a bass for the chord. So on the E major, you have low E for the bass. On the B, you have the A for the bass. Unless you're working the seventh fret bar, in which case you have low E for the bass. On the A, you have the A for the bass. Unless you're doing the fifth fret bar, and then you have low E for the bass. On the F sharp minor, you have low E for the bass. On the G sharp minor, you have low E for the bass. C sharp minor, you have the A for the bass. On the F sharp seven, you have the low for the bass. So you can kind of try that through with, with basses. And you have an E, B, A, A, F sharp minor, F sharp minor, E. Or you could work that halving with basses, actually. Kind of E, kind of split pattern. You the bass down, A on up, up, down, A with an A bass, F sharp minor. Basses to the 16th pattern, and you could work it as a bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down. It's very cool. So you have E, E, A, 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 F sharp minor, F sharp minor, E. And from there, then we'll be going into our next verse. So we tried that with a bass, down, up, up, down, up. We have E. Down up, up, down up. We have F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, B. Or you can work that as the 16th idea. F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, B. And lead into our last chorus. And if we tried that with a bass down, up, up, down, up, then we'd have the E, F sharp minor, A, G sharp minor, F sharp minor, E, F sharp minor, C sharp minor.
different right hand patterns to, to get that to work too. But that's the basics of how you can strum through and finger style through. Leave your lover by Sam Smith. So good luck. <laughs>